Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home lower body workout. Today we're gonna to be sculpting and working our thighs and our glutes through a series of exercises that are gonna build strength, tone, and definition. I'm gonna be using a booty band for some of the moves and a set of ankle weights. All of the moves can be done without any equipment at all. Using body weight resistance, you can still get in a really great workout. So if you wanna step up the intensity with some extra additional weight, feel free to do so. Otherwise, do the workout weightless. It's gonna be a good one. It's going to be challenging. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to get down on our mats. We don't need our resistance band or our ankle weights to begin with. We're going to move into an all fours position, wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. From here, we're just gonna start off by warming up the glutes, the thighs, and the hips. So I'm gonna extend my right leg out long keeping the hips square with the mat. I'm going to flex, pulling the toes toward the shin and then point. Flex and point. So really simple movement. We want that leg nice and straight at torso height. And we're just moving between the two foot positions, flexing and pointing. Now, as you get comfortable here, I really want you to step it up by really pulling the toes toward the shin and then pointing hard through the toes on that extension and starting to notice how that feels in the glutes and the thighs. So that leg is nice and straight. We're switching on the glutes. We're switching on the thighs as we move between those two positions, flexing and pointing, inhaling and exhaling. Nice work. Keep it up, keep those hips square with the mat. We've got three and two and one. Nice work. Now we're gonna bend that right knee and we're gonna just start drawing circles in the air with that right knee, circling up and around, keeping a gentle bend in the leg as we really focus on opening up that right hip. Good, inhaling and exhaling as we draw big exaggerated circles in the air with that knee. We're lubricating the hip joint. Good, starting to switch on those glutes. And one, now we're gonna reverse directions with those circles. <sighs> Breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth as we circle nice and smoothly, really getting that knee up and over for three and two and one. Nice work. Now we're gonna move over to that left side. So we're going to extend the left leg out long, pointing through the toe, lift the leg to torso height, and then we're flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing. So really exaggerate this movement, point hard, and then fully flex, lengthening through the toe, and then lengthening through the heel. Switching on those thigh muscles, switching on the hamstrings, squeezing the glutes. Good. Focusing our mind on all the muscles that we're gonna be working throughout this routine. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth for three, point, two, point, and one, point. Nice work. Now drawing those circles in the air with that left leg, mobilizing the hip, plug belly in, and breathe through these circles. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. We've got three, make them nice and big for two and last one. Now reverse direction of those circles. Nicely done, keep pushing the mat away from you up through the heels of your hands so that you're not collapsing in the shoulders. Nice neutral spine, good, three and two. Really lift that knee. And last one, amazing work. Now I'm going to put my ankle weight onto my right ankle 
and put it onto the left as well so we're ready to go on that left side when it comes time to switch. Now if you're not using weights, again, perfectly fine, you're still going to feel it. So we're going to get into our all fours position. We're going to extend the right leg out long. Shoulders are broad, hips are square with the mat. From here, we're going to bend the right knee and flex the right foot. So pulling the toes toward the shin. And we're going to lift, lift, and lower that right knee. Lift, lift, and lower. Up two, and lower down. Lift, lift, and lower. So lift two little pulses up with that heel being really careful that we're not arching the spine. As we lift, we're focusing on a really nice, stable torso. Abs are engaged. And just move slowly, no need to rush this movement. Pulse, pulse, and lower. And really squeeze that glute at the top of the lift. We're really focusing on these right glutes now. Switching on, firing up. Good and lower. Keep your gaze down on the mat so that your neck is in line with your spine. Keep that foot flexed, leading up toward the ceiling with that heel. Good. Lift, lift, and lower. Good. We've got three, and two, and last one, and relax it down. Nice work. Now, from here, we're going to extend the leg long and point through the toe, and we're going to lift and lower the leg. Simple leg lifts here, but we really want to be focusing on keeping the hips square with the mat, so we're not opening up on that, in that right hip. We're keeping the spine nice and long, the belly is plugged in, and those shoulders are nice and broad. Good. Really focusing on lengthening out through that big toe. <sighs> Squeezing those right glutes at the top of the lift. You can feel this in your hamstring here too. Make sure the leg is nice and straight. Straight and strong. Good. <sighs> <sighs> We've got six, five, Four, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Hold the leg at torso height, then flex the foot, pull the heel to the bum, and extend. Hamstring curls with a flexed foot. So again, your abdominal wall is lifted, and you're really contracting those glutes and those hamstrings as you pull the heel back toward the bum, keeping the leg at torso height, fully straightening on the extension, lengthening through the heel before pulling that heel back toward the bum. Good. Nice and broad across those shoulders. Keep pushing the mat away. We've got five and four. Keep it strong for three and two and final one. Nice work. Bend the knee. Now we're going to lower down onto the forearms. You can either have the forearms parallel on the mat like so. You want your elbows below your shoulders or you can interlace your fingers if that feels comfortable for you. Make sure that your shoulders aren't creeped up by your ears. Your neck is nice and long. From here we're going to extend that right leg out long again and we're going to lift, lift and lower. So two pulses up and then tap the toe down. Lift, lift, and lower. Up two, and lower down. Good work. So we're lifting on a double pulse, and then lowering down to the mat. Keeping that torso really still. So we're not overarching in the low back. We're using that booty to get the leg up. So you're really squeezing those right glutes. Lengthening out through that big toe. Again, keep it slow, keep it controlled. Really squeezing all the muscles in the leg as well as those glutes as you lift and lower with a nice straight leg. Relax those shoulders down away from your ears. Good, we've got three 
and two, whoo, and last one, good work. Now bend that right knee, keep the toes pointed, we're going to lift that right leg up and then we're going to extend and bend, extend and bend, keeping the leg suspended in the air, little bend, extend pulses. It's a small range of movement, but these are tough. This is our final move in this position on the right side. So make it count. Full extension and then bend. We've got eight, seven, keep that leg lifted, shoulders relaxed, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Relax that right leg down. Take the knees nice and wide and just sink back into a child's pose for a moment, regulating your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, really lengthening through that spine, relaxing those shoulders for three and two and one. Nicely done. Bring yourself up into a kneeling position and just roll your shoulders down and back before coming back into our all fours so we can now focus on that left side. So we've got our wrists below our shoulders, we've got our knees below our hips. We're going to bend that left knee and flex the foot and then we're lift, lifting and lower. Lift, lift and lower. Up to and lower. Focusing our mind on those left glutes now. Keeping those hips square with the mat. Good. Two little pulses up with that heel. Up a little higher and then lower. Lift, lift and lower. So that second pulse is just that little bit higher and that's when you're really squeezing those left glutes to get that lift. Again, only lifting up as high as you can without arching that low back or straining that low back or swinging that leg up. So these pulses are focused in the lower body. You're getting that lift by squeezing those glutes, by contracting those hamstrings. Good work. Good, lift, lift and lower. Lift your abdominal wall at the same time as you breathe out. We've got four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Now we're going to extend that left leg out long, point the toe, and leg lifts. So no swinging motion in the torso or the low back. You're just squeezing that bum to get that lift, lengthening out through the big toe. Good, moving slowly and with control and stability. <sighs> Breathe out to lift. <sighs> nice work. Keep it steady, keep those hips square with the mat, neck is nice and long, and your gaze is down on the floor. Amazing. Getting that lift, working those glutes. Good, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at torso height, flex the foot, hamstring curl. Good, pulling that heel back toward the bum and then fully straightening with the foot flexed. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Don't let that leg drop lower than torso height. Good work. Try not to collapse in the shoulders, nice and broad across those shoulders, nice and level across the shoulders and the hips. Good. Keep moving. We've got six, five, four, three, Last two and final one. Good, now we get to switch positions and come down onto those forearms, giving the wrists a little bit of a rest and focusing on lengthening through the spine here. Now, from here we're extending that left leg out long and we're lift lifting, oops, I'm gonna move myself over. Lift, lift 
and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Up two, and lower down. Good work. Good, make any little adjustments that you need to. Make sure your hips are square with the floor and those shoulders are down away from the ears. Whew, I'm already really sweating, this is tough. Especially with these ankle weights on. This would be tough even without ankle weights. Good, lift, lift, and lower. We've got four, three, two, stick with it, and last one. Nice work. Now we're bending that left knee, elevating the leg and extending. Bend, extend, bend, extend, keeping the leg suspended in the air. Ooh, I can barely talk for this one. It's really tough, but we're doing great work. Good. We're gonna have a little stretch after this, so stick with it. We've got six, five, four, three, abs in for two, and for one. Relax it down. Take those knees nice and wide. I'm gonna keep my hips elevated this time. And really lengthen through the tailbone in puppy pose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth for four, for three, for two, and for one. Nice work. Come up into a kneeling position. Roll your shoulders down and back. And then now we're going to get down onto the side body and work through some side lying exercises to work the side booty. So we started off with the right side when we were all in all, when we were in all fours. We're gonna start off with the right side laying down as well, so the right leg is on top. We're gonna bend both legs. Head can be on the palm or the outstretched arm, whatever's more comfortable. We've got our torso in line with the mat, edge of the mat, and then we've got our shins in line with the front of the mat. From here, we're going to extend the top leg out long. We're gonna bring it forward slightly, Tap the toe down to the floor and then extend on a diagonal. So I might move back a little bit so you can fully see. So I'm gonna tap and extend. So I'm drawing a diagonal line in the air with that big toe. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and extend on that diagonal. So <sighs> drawing that Nice clean line in the air, keeping those shoulders down away from the ears. Good, lengthening out through that big toe as we lower and lift. Good, keep your belly plugged in towards your spine. Nice work, working deep into those hips, working that gluteus medius muscle, keep it up, we've got four. Three, two, and one. Good, lower down for a moment. Now we're gonna come back up and we're gonna draw some circles in the air with that top leg. So we're gonna hold the leg out on an extension and then we're gonna circle. Good, circling forward to begin with for four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do 10 in the opposite direction for 10, nine, eight, lengthening out through that big toe, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, I was shaking with those. So tough with the ankle weight. Okay, really felt it in, those side, in that side booty and I hope you did too. Now we're going to go into some flexed foot leg lifts. We're going to make sure that that top leg is in line with the torso and the edge of the mat. We're gonna pull the toes back toward the shin and the inside of the foot is facing down to the mat as we lift and lower that top leg. 
So still working that right side. Working that right side from every angle. Good. Keeping the foot flexed as we lift and lower that leg parallel with the mat. Good, try not to let your torso move. Plug your belly in towards your spine. Work on that Pilates breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Control the breathing, really it does help. We've got three, two, and one. Now we're gonna hold the leg and pulse. Pulsing up, keeping the foot flexed, lengthening through the heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Amazing work. Okay, now I'd like you to use your hands to help you to come over onto the other side. So we're going to work that left side now. Coming down. Feels good to switch sides. Feels good to give that right side a bit of a rest. So make sure that you're nice and comfortable on your side body. Bottom leg is bent. We're extending the top leg out on a diagonal and then we're tapping it down to the floor and extending. So remember we're drawing that diagonal line in the air with the big toe. Again, super slow, super controlled. Using my microphone here. There. Keep that neck nice and long. Really focus on squeezing that side booty at the top of the lift. Making those leg muscles work throughout the entire range of movement. You can feel it on the way up as well as on, on the way down because we're really pointing through that big toe. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down for a moment. Take a nice deep breath and let's prepare for those circles. So we're coming up and we're circling forward. 10 forward, so we've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse for 10, nine. Ooh, that shaking is starting. These are tough. Keep your leg elevated for five, four, three, two, and one, Woo. relax it down. Nice work. Now bring the leg back so that it is in line with your torso. Flex the foot and let's get into those leg lifts. Woo. Working into the waistline here too. You can feel it in those obliques as you lift and lower. Side booty's working, obliques are working. Good, thighs are definitely working. Keep the toes pulled back toward the shin. We've got five, four, three, nice long relaxed neck, two, and one. Hold the leg there, and we're moving into those pulses. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Nice work. Okay, from here, I'm going to remove the ankle weights and I'm going to pop the booty band on. I'm gonna keep the ankle weights handy because we're gonna use them for our inner thigh work to finish off with. So they're just off to the side of the mat. Again, if you don't have a booty band or you don't wanna use one, you really don't have to. Okay, so just placing it a couple inches above the knees, rolling down with control. We're gonna go into our bridge work here. So pressing your palms down on either side of your body, flattening the arms, bringing the legs so that they are hip distance apart, feet are hip distance apart, and we want our heels below our knees. The spine is in neutral to start off with. We're going to tuck the tailbone, tilting the pelvis back, and then peel, 
the low back, peel the mid back and come up onto those shoulders. Now from here, the legs remain hip distance apart as we lower and lift. So we're not lowering all the way to the ground, we're lowering so the bum's just hovering up off the floor and then we're pushing up through the heels and as we do so, we're tucking the tailbone as those hips come up. So we're not arching like this. We're not really thrusting those hips up to the ceiling. We are creating a nice flat diagonal line from the breastbone out toward the knees, protecting the low back with that tailbone tuck and also by pulling the belly button in toward the spine as we breathe out and lift. Flatten that abdominal wall as you lift those hips toward the ceiling. Good, we've got five. Squeeze bum cheeks together for four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna hold in this elevated position and we're gonna pulse out for two. One, two with the knees and back to parallel. One, two, back to parallel. Pulse, 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 good. Pulse, pulse. So returning the legs back to parallel between those double pulses. Good, keeping the hips elevated. Nice work. Really push against the band if you're using one. <sighs> Breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Flatten that abdominal wall, keep that tailbone tucked. Try not to let the hips drop. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's lower down for a moment. And now, as we come up, we're gonna lift and lower from bridge. And as we come up, we're going to abduct the knees. We're going to pull them apart. So tilt the pelvis back, come up. Open the knees, back to parallel, lower. Lift, open, back to parallel, lower. Lift, par open, parallel, lower. So I have not totally letting my bum drop all the way down to the floor. It just hovering off the mat before we bring the hips right back up. Good, keeping that abdominal wall nice and flat and engaged. Good. Really pull those knees apart, then back to parallel and lower down. So when your knees come apart, you should be kind of rotating to the outside edges of your feet and then bring them back to flat before lowering down. Good. We've got four and three. Really drive up through the heels as you lift. Two. And one. Now we're gonna hold in this elevated position and we're just gonna pulse, continuously pulsing the knees out. Good, little controlled pulses. I know these are tough, but we're nearly there. This is the last move in this position. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Bring the hips down to the floor, bring the knees in toward the chest and just hug them in for a moment here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hug them in a little bit closer, enjoying the stretch in the lower back for three and two and one. Now take a hold behind your knees and roll yourself up to a seated position. I'm gonna lose the band now and I'm going to put the ankle weights back on. Again, these are optional. We have three more exercises per leg to work the inner thighs to finish off this workout and then we're gonna get in a nice stretch. So we're gonna come down onto the side body. Left leg is on top, right leg is on the mat. We're going to bring that left leg in front of the body, creating a bridge or behind the body, whatever is more comfortable for you and we're gonna point and lengthen through the right toes, inner right thigh facing up toward the ceiling. So hovering that leg up off the floor, we're gonna lift and lower, and we're not gonna let the leg totally drop to the floor. We're gonna keep it hovering off it 
hovering up off the mat in between each lift. Good. <sighs> Lifting and lowering. Really focusing on this inner thigh muscles doing the work. So squeezing those on inner thigh muscles to lift that leg up. Good, keep pointing and lengthening through the toes. Shoulders are relaxed. We've got five, four, three abs in for two and one nice work. Now lower down just for a moment. This time when we come up, we're going to double pulse up. So we're gonna lift, lift, and then lower. Lift, lift, and lower. So up a little higher, a little higher, and then lower. One, two, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Pulse, pulse, lower down. Really keeping those inner thigh muscles engaged. Good, I know these are tough, but we're so close to being finished. So stick with it. Really good to target those inner thigh muscles. Sometimes they get neglected. So it's great to focus our mind and our attention on working this part of the body. Good. We've got three and two and final one and lower. Now we're flexing the right foot, pulling the toes back toward the shin and we're gonna pulse up. Flex foot lifts for 20. Good, little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Relax it down. Amazing work. Now we're gonna come over and do the other side. So making the bridge with that top leg, bringing it forward or putting it behind. We're going to point the left toes and lift and lower. Just get right into it, get it done. Relax those shoulders down away from your ears. Lifting and lowering with control, keeping that leg really straight. Good, breathe through it. Leading up with that inner thigh. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Now coming up for those double pulses with a pointed toe. Lift, lift, lower. Lift, lift, lower. Good work. So that second pulse is a little bit higher. Really maxing out that inner thigh engagement on that second pulse. Good. Only three moves with these in, this inner thigh series, but it is effective and these moves work. I'm sure you can feel it. The burn is real. Good. Lift, lift and lower. Up two, lower down for three more sets. Last two and final one. Whew. Okay, flexed foot pulses. Home stretch. So flex the foot, lift the leg, and pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold, lift a bit higher, and lower. Oh my goodness, okay. Amazing work. We are done with the hard part. Now we're going to stretch. I'm going to remove these ankle weights. And we're going to start off on our backs. We're going to cross the right leg over the left. Interlace the fingers behind the left thigh and just hug that left knee in toward the chest. Take a moment here to relax those shoulders. Try to connect every part of your lower back as well with the mat, including your tailbone. You'll really feel the stretch in the low back. 
Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and as you exhale, hug that knee in a little closer towards your chest, deepening the stretch for four, for three, for two, and for one. Relax it down. Let's switch legs, left over right. Hug that right knee in toward the chest, hug it in close. Connect your lower back with the mat and just breathe. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you hug that knee in a little bit closer, deepening the stretch for four, for three, for two, and for one. Nice work. Now, from here, I'm gonna bring the right knee in toward the chest and I'm going to walk my hands up the back of the leg as high as they can go. Okay, for you it might be here or here. Just don't hold on behind your knee joint. And we're just gonna pull the leg gently toward the chest in a hamstring stretch. Breathing deeply here. Lengthening all the way up the back of the leg, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings as well as in the calf. You can flex if you wanna really deepen that stretch in the calf. Flex the foot. Try to relax the shoulders here. Pull the leg a little bit closer towards you for four, for three, for two, and for one. Bend the knee, lower the leg. Bring the left knee in toward the chest. Extend, straightening the leg, and just pull that leg in towards you. Melt those shoulders away from your ears. This is always a tough stretch, but it's a very beneficial stretch. <sighs> Breathe out and hug that leg in a little bit closer towards you for three, for two, and for one. Take your hands behind your thighs, roll yourself up into a seated position. From here, I'm going to bring my, the soles of my feet together. Sit up nice and tall, holding onto the ankles. Splay the knees out. Try to draw the knees down toward the floor and then hinge forward from the hips. <sighs> Getting a nice inner thigh stretch in. Breathing deeply here in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lower those knees a little bit closer down toward the floor if you wanna use a little bit of pressure with your hands to deepen the stretch. Please do so for three, for two, and for one. Lift yourself back up. Come into a cross-legged position facing me. Lift your shoulders up by your ears. Inhale and exhale, roll them down and back. Lift and round down and back. Last one, lift and melt away tension. Wow, thank you so much for joining me. Well done for making it through this workout. It was definitely challenging, but also very effective. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I really look forward to working out with you again next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.